Okay, in this question, a student throws a stone with the velocity v at an angle theta to the vertical from the surface of a lake. Now, this is a different thing because uh, generally we take this as the theta, but they have uh, taken the other angle, the angle with the vertical as theta. So that is uh, uh, a different thing. Air resistance can be ignored. Very good. The acceleration due to gravity is g, which will be vertical. What is the time taken for the stone to hit the surface of the lake? So we need to find the time taken. Now in such a kind of question, obviously this is uh, not from motion in 1D, it is from motion in 2D, motion in plane. So it is going to become a projectile soon after, like this, isn't it? And so we want to find the time after which it is going to hit the same horizontal level, that is it is going to hit the lake. So we need to find this. Um, this is theta. So what is happening is this is V and let us say this the component of the velocity is V cos theta let us say. Because the velocity is a vector we have to divide it into two components. This is V cos theta and this is V sin theta. Because theta is with the vertical. It is no longer. It is not with the horizontal now. So there will be two this theta, v cos theta and v sin theta. Now, concentrating only on the vertical shadow, the shadow part of the ball, it is going up, reaching the highest point, and from here it is going down. So we are just concerned with the vertical motion of the ball. So we will neglect the horizontal motion. We will concentrate only on the vertical motion. The velocity is u cos theta. So here we can find like s is equal to ut plus half at square uh, should we use this formula yeah because displacement will be zero yes now this is our general equation of motion as given by newton and i tell you this is a vector equation this is what students actually confuse this is a vector equation it means we need to assign a direction. We need to assign signs to the direction. Like which direction is taken as positive and which is taken as negative. Let us say this is taken as negative and the upward is taken as positive. Now we will just apply the formula here only and only for the vertical motion, neglecting the horizontal one. So the vertically, the ball is going up and it goes up and afterward it comes down. So what is the displacement for the total time t? zero the displacement is zero because ball started from point o it went to point a and again it reached back to point o so we will say that displacement is zero what is u initial velocity and it is in the upward direction so it is it will be taken positive which is v cos theta in our case it is time t plus half acceleration will be taken negative t squared that is equal to zero so this t has been cancelled out we left with only one t from here this t that is total t will come out to be 2v cos theta divided by g so answer is d this is the complete derivation that i am giving you for the projectile motion which we do generally when theta is given with the horizontal here the theta is given with the vertical that is the only difference the other thing that that we can do is we can take t is equal to 2u sine theta by g. Now this is a general formula which is uh, which is given in our books and students are supposed to learn this formula as so that directly they can apply this and get the answer. So if they do that if you know this formula or let us say if this formula is available in your formula book so what do we need to do we just need to replace theta with 90 minus theta because this angle is uh, given here so this will be 90 minus theta so we can substitute this 90 minus theta here and we can directly find what is t and we all know that sine of 90 minus theta is cos theta and there we are so the formula will be created like 2v cos theta divided by g so with this let us verify from the mark scheme the answer is d there we go all the best